Hello everyone, this is Sasha, aka Your Frugal Friend, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add the glyphs feature for your beautiful calligraphy fonts in Canva. All right, so when you talk about font glyphs, you wonder what that is. What's a font glyph? Well, a font glyph is the addition of one of these long, um, like, curly handwritten style uh, letters to a, t a a string of words or one word that you write. So on this one, the glyph I added is on this L, and then there's the one on for the E. And so where products that use this are like wall art or beautiful planners that have this very stylized font, wedding invitations, anything with like a beautiful calligraphy font on it. It's especially popular in the wall art niche on the products that you would sell in like Etsy. All right, so what do we need to know to be able to add glyphs to our fonts? Well, first you need to know the difference between an OTF and a T, uh, TTF font. And so the TTF font is just regular text font and an OTF uh, file format for font has the font glyphs. It has the special characters and that's the file type that you want to use. So you're saying, well, where do I, how do I even know where to go? Where do I find these fonts? My favorite place to get free commercial use fonts is on Creative Fabrica. And I'll drop a link to this in um, underneath this video in the description for this video. So what you can do is you can go to a website called Creative Fabrica and they have freebies up here at the top. So I went into freebies and then I went into free fonts right here. And then I found this Huntry font and it is a modern e-calligraphy typeface. And I saw on here it had the glyphs. And so I decided to choose that font. So then from there, you're going to download this font onto your computer. And then you're going to, um, it'll download and then you'll open up the file and it'll be zipped. So then you'll have to unzip the file and then you'll get these two different file types, the OTF and the TTF file types. So then you're going to go to your search bar and you're gonna type in fonts and font settings and you open it and then this will open here. So then you'll drag the OTF font here and then you'll see it, sh it shows up right there. There's your font. You have to have this font on your computer to be able to use the glyphs because then you're going to type in character map and this is gonna pop up. Cl click on character map and then your character map for your fonts are gonna pop up. And this gives you all the choices for the different, um, for all the different characters available for this special um, OTF font file type. And I'm in the glyph section. So this is the hardest part of this entire process is going through all the different characters in your character map for your font and then finding the glyphs. So then you have the font on your computer now. You have Huntry, you have your character map pulled up. So now we're gonna go over to Canva and we're going to upload this font into our brand kit. Know that this is not something you can do with the free version of Canva. You have to have Canva Pro to be able to use the glyphs. And that's because here you have to upload this font that you got from Creative Fabrica into your brand kit. So we're gonna upload the Huntry font here by finding it. Um, here it is, Huntry script, OTF. We're gonna bring that over and it's gonna prompt us saying you have permission to use this font. Oh no, wait, load, okay, okay. Okay. So then we go upload font. We have download fonts and I was in the, um, the wrong file. Date modified, go down. Country. Yes, upload anyway, uploading the font. I was trying to upload the unzipped file. <laughs> you can't do that. Know that you have to have it zipped. I've done that in the past with my fonts and gotten really frustrated with myself. So always make sure you unzip that font file before you try to upload it or give you that same error. And that's the only reason that that error came up because I did not unzip it. All right, so now I have the font in my brand kit in Canva. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna actually create, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna create a new design and it's going to be 
just the regular US letter 11 um, inch by 8.5 inch. Oh, wrong, sorry, that's the wrong orientation. I wanted it to be portrait, this is landscape. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna create a regular portrait orientation. And then I'm gonna go to text, add a heading, and type in live, laugh, love. Just a saying that could be on wall art. So then I'm gonna take this and position center, middle, and I'm gonna change it to that Huntry font that I just uploaded, so Huntry. So there's Huntry regular. And as you can see here, you see there's no glyphs, and there's no way for me to have chosen them when I chose the Huntry font. So I'm gonna want a glyph on this L, I'm gonna want a glyph on the E. That's when you go into your character map, right there. And we're going to go and find our L, so we double click the L and we go to copy. And then we're going to delete this and paste that. And there we go. We pasted, I did control V to paste the L. You can also do right click, paste. So now I'm gonna find the E. So that was the glyph on the left side. Now I need the glyph on the E on the right side. So you go back to your character map and then we go here and we find the E with the glyph on the right side, double click it, it's selected. And now we're going to, oh no wait, that's a C, A, B, C, D, E, sorry, E. Whoops, actually you have to delete the ones that you had chosen previously. So double click just the E, copy, delete the E, paste it. There we go. And now we have this beautiful live, laugh, love, and you can also here, if you want to, get rid of that E and you can put one there and you could also copy this L and you can get rid of that and you could space these out and maybe tie them together if you wanted to, figure that out, move it around. But as you can see, you can add glyphs wherever you want. You can add as many or as little as you like. You can stretch this out so that this kind of goes out the sides because people love the way that that looks and you could sell this as wall art whatever you want to do with it so i hope that this has taught you easily how to add glyphs to your canva designs